to my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, you are in a unique position today. You're in a unique position to physically look into the eyes of these families. And I hope that it motivates you to set aside the politics and the rhetoric. I hope that it motivates you to look at the tragedy that we have seen happen and to fix what this legislature has broken when it comes to law enforcement and the safety of our law enforcement officials. Earlier this year, New York Police Department officers Wilbur Mora and Jason Rivera were shot and killed while responding to a domestic incident in Harlem. To curb the increasing crime rates, New York City Mayor Eric Adams, a former police captain, is reintroducing plainclothes officers, which had been disbanded two years ago. Some critics derided plainclothes units for years as counterproductive and argued they were a relic from the stop and frisk era of policing, used instead as a bludgeoning tool that more negatively affected black and brown communities. Senator George Borrello, however, believes there is more the state can do to decrease violence against officers. Actions are what counts. And if we want to honor these fallen police officers, those actions mean fixing what we broke here in this chamber. The push to crack down on crime is a popular discussion for Borrello, who has made his stance on bail reform clear. The senator explains that the law hurts victims the most, decreasing their faith in the criminal justice system. The first step to fixing this, according to Borrello, is by returning judicial discretion, something that must be a bipartisan effort. Julia Grass, WNY News Now.